Sam Bush is a father of the whole genre of music, Newgrass. And I think he's an American treasure, I really do. When I heard him play, and I was like, this is what I want to do. This guy is a badass. I know that there was a lot of pressure on Sam. Are you the next Bill Monroe? Sam had the guts and the vision to say, no, I'm going to be the first Sam Bush, though. I was hard-headed enough that if I was going to play music, that wasn't the music I wanted to play. I respect bluegrass music enough to not screw around with it like Sam does. The Newgrass Revival is probably responsible for the bluegrass going the way that it's going, away from traditional bluegrass. Yeah. It was something about the generation gap. They were a little jealous of their thing, wanted to keep it to themselves. It wasn't as melodic as I normally like. But you couldn't help but be uh, just really impressed with the fact that they were pushing the boundaries. I mean, I, I didn't feel like they were worried about what anybody thought whatsoever, and that's such a beautiful thing. Can't stop now. I hated when the New Grass Revival broke up. And Sam said, well, you can't quit, I quit. I didn't have anywhere to go and nothing to do. I know his heart was broke. My heart was definitely broke. It still hurts. There are many times when Sam Bush goes to perform in front of an audience and they may not know who he is. Well, I don't really know his mu much of his music. I don't, I don't own any records. Everybody say, hi, Sam! But when he gets done, they sure know. Daryl and I had hit records. That's, that's different. But Sam had to do it all live. That's an amazing achievement. There's only one Sam Bush. <laughs> And I like to be around him. <laughs>